Lead Elixir, I don't really hardly ever use. Um, it can be good. It basically allows you to, uh, instead of getting stunned when you get hit, just kind of like power through it. Um, but you move very slow, and I'm pretty sure you can't roll when you use it. Um, I could be mistaken about that, so don't quote me on it. But um, I think I've heard some people use it for player versus player fights. Where is this thing at? Uh... There it is. Don't kill me. Okay, now you can kill me. I don't really care. Okay. So, that's all I need to do for this area for now. Um, next I'm going to be, uh, let's see, let's go to Kanehurst, and then we'll save the DLC area to get the last few last. And I think in Kanehurst I need... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go back to Hemwick where we fought the witches. And then after this, we will tackle some bosses. Which hopefully should not be too difficult, but we'll see. Depending on how long it takes me to get through the shadows, I will likely go on to fight Rom afterwards. Um, if that does not take too long. If, it, if I end up spending you know, a ton of time on the shadows then i may end up saving rom for the next time i stream so we will see and up here is going to be one of my favorite cutscenes So this next area is Kanehurst Castle, one of my favorite locations in the game. Home of the Vile Bloods. Look. 
This is one of those weird things where it's like, these things have been dead. Like, they were dead when they picked this up, but they are like, super dead now. Like, their bodies are, you know, picked at, they're covered in snow, the carriage looks like it hasn't moved in, you know, probably decades at least. So, this is like the most, um, like, mystical, magical this game really gets. And I never really looked, but that is Yarnum, I'm pretty sure. And I believe that is probably the um, Bergenworth College where um, we are going to be heading to very soon. Uh, as soon as we can, can get past the, um, the Shadows of Yarnum. These things, these blood lickers, basically like giant flea people, I am not even going to begin to fuck with them because even at a fully leveled character, they can fuck your shit up real fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God. Hey, leave me alone. Okay. Let's let's do a proper introduction. Ladies and gentlemen. Kanehurst Castle. Hello, ghost lady. These are the spirits of the vile bloods that were slain. Ah! Um, by basically um, Alfred's compatriots, the uh, executioners, and their leader, Martyr Logarius, um, which we might, might, might fight him today, we'll see. Um, again, it just all depends on, on how quickly I can get through the next few areas. Don't really need anything there. Don't really need anything here. Ah! Okay. 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 Screaming is just really unnecessary. And this guy's a fucking bastard. He got me so bad the first time I was through this area. Make you fucking pay for it every single time I come through. Chump. You can hear another one behind me. I'm just gonna run away from him. And there's one right here. These guys actually have a very small chance of dropping a bloodstone chunk by themselves, but it's so small it's almost not worth it to try to farm them. Especially at this low level. Another guy here. So we're just gonna run on by. A rapier thing. All this statuary just filling the castle. Uh, I'm trying to remember if. See, there's a thing there, and I can't recall if it's a thing I need. Nope. Okay, so this is the one and only shortcut to this area. Well, 
maybe not the only one, but kind of the big one. So we're going to drop that in case I die. Excuse me. Oh, crap, crap. So that screaming, if they catch me in that, I will be frozen in place for uh, a good couple of seconds. Which, with a bunch of ghostly dead ladies with big knives all around me, it's not something you want to hap you know, have happen. Uh, so I don't think there's anything... Ow. Oh, is that what I'm looking for? I know there's a bloodstone chuck somewhere up here. Yes, perfect. Okay. Ah! Stop it! Rude. Mm. Okay. So this is actually the secret to this area is you gotta do some some ledge walking. And that sobbing, I don't know if it ever actually stops. What's up, gargoyle dude? Turn around. Nope, nope, nope. Um, ah, here we go. Always forget about this path. This leads to the second shortcut. Which you must get because it opens up this ladder, which you will we'll take to the boss of this area later. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Um. Need this, but I'm gonna get it anyway because treasure. There should be a thing. So that should leave me with nine. Awesome. Okay, so I only need seven more. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be seven more. I'm pretty sure I can get all of those from the Hunter's Nightmare. Or at least most of them. Am I missing any? No. Oh, there's one in the Forbidden Woods. That's what I'm missing. Okay. That's fine. Totally okay. Let's actually upgrade a weapon to a plus eight. Don't need to repair it. Let's check the blood gem situation. Ooh. Nothing I can really do there. Okay. Uh, 
Um, higher blood vials, higher blood vials, higher quicksilver bullets, more blood echoes, more blood echoes. I'll use the beast because I do plan to use beast blood runes. Don't have anything for that yet. Okay. And then. I'm good on those for now. Can't buy any more of those. Actually, let's buy some of those. Alright. Now, to the DLC area. <sighs> oh, I'm not looking forward to this. This is like the highest of high level areas that you can be in, at least at this point in the game. Um, so, I have to be very careful of most things that are going to like just destroy me. So I of course I'm going to be running through a lot of it. This is not where I wanted to be. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well. I could run there, but that would take a while. Let's try that one more time. We need to go to Cathedral Ward, not Central Yarnum. Okay. I really can't wait to get into the story of the DLC. It's pretty awesome, at least I think so. Um, but we will save that until we actually get to this part. Like, officially. What you'll notice... So it looks like the area we were just in. Except there's no door back here anymore. Or over here, just a wall. And then when we come out here... Look, no, that, okay, that's really different. So this is the Hunter's Nightmare. Um, and this is definitely like... This is basically not a real area or a real world. Excuse me, mister. I don't want anything that you're selling right now. <laughs> 